Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel LZ Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how you can receive your USD payment settlement from Paystack. Okay, but before I get to the tutorial started, if you are already new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so whenever I upload content you get notified and you watch the video. Okay, and lastly but not least, if you have any question for me as far as today's tutorial is concerned, you can put your question in the comment section down below. Okay. Now, uh, I need to explain some of the things to you guys before I dive into the tutorial. One of the things I need to explain to you guys is that for those who does not know much about Paystack, Paystack is an online payment gateway that helps you to receive payments anywhere in the world. Okay. Now, Paystack gives you an opportunity to receive currency in your local currency and international currency. So, in some cases, if you are in, uh, in Nigeria or you are in another African country or you are in a European country where Paystack is working perfectly, you are opportune to receive the currency of that particular country and also you are opportune to receive USD payment. Okay? Now, in some, uh, some uh, Nigerians, if you have, uh, you receive a payment from uh, USD payment from your Paystack account. It's quite a challenge for some of Nigerians to receive the payment in their bank account because our bank account is a narrow account. And so in this regard, Paystack will enforce you to have the domiciliary bank account before you can receive the payment. Now, in this regard, I have done a lot of research as far as this is concerned, and uh, I was able to come up with a, a solution which I'm going to share with you guys. And if you are in any other country, this is going to work for you also, unless if Paystack is not working in your country, that is why, uh, that is when the video is not going to help you, okay? Now, if you are in Nigeria particularly, what they will do, if you receive a payment, if you receive a USD payment, and you submit your NERA account as a normal, uh, normal NERA account, Paystack is not going to pay you. They will force you to open a USD account. And uh, what I did was that, uh, I follow their instruction. They were the one that recommend a two bank for me because I have a domiciliary account with UBA Bank. And when I submit the domiciliary account, they rejected the account. So I was told that they work with GT Bank and uh, Zenith Bank, which is recommended by them. So what I did was that I asked them to uh, give me a guideline on how you can, I can do all those stuff. So they sent me some form. So I, I was sent a Zenith Bank a domiciliary account. With uh, account form that I filled the form through the pay tag. I was able to open the domiciliary account with my information. So now, having done that, so uh, I have to come back to my dashboard to enter my domiciliary account detail so that I get my USD payment from pay tag to my USD domiciliary account here in Nigeria. So if this is what you are looking for as far as this tutorial is concerned. I'm walking you through step by step and see how you two can easily uh, receive your USD uh, payment from uh, from Paystack. Okay. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to log into my dashboard. I have to click on login right here. So here you need to enter your email address. Okay, so move to the next column and enter your password. Then click on login to account. So when you log into your account, this is how it's going to open up, right? So the next thing you have to do is to scroll down and uh, uh, go to settings right here. Go to settings. Then here you need to go to uh, account uh, payout accounts. All right, so here, this was my 
former USD account I submitted, which was rejected by FaceTag, and they asked me to enter uh, to use U uh, Zenit Bank or Guarantee Trust Bank USD account. Okay. Now, for for a Nigerian, I think uh, FaceTag, if you are receiving uh, international payment in your dashboard, you will definitely see two options of payment payout, which one, the first one is uh, is going to be Nera payout. The second one is going to be USD payout. Now, for me now to receive my USD payments, I have to click on change payout account. Then here, I need to select the bank I just opened through the pay stack. So I have to click on here. So in this regard, I have to choose send it back. That was the USD account I was able to open through the assistance of uh, Paystar, okay? Now I have to enter my USD uh, account number. Okay. And you have to scroll down. So never mind this information right here. Okay, never mind. All you have to do is to uh, click on save. Now you can see I can't change successfully. Your settlement account has been updated. So in this regard, they are going to pay me direct to this uh, Senate USD account in my in USD currency. I think this is a very good news for all Nigeria because if you are receiving your uh, payments in uh, USD, you know what it means, okay? So this is how you can receive your USD payments from Paystack without any stress. I hope you guys learn one or two things in this video. Uh, before I run it up, the only thing about pay, uh, USD account is that it's, there are some challenges as far as the uh, USD opening of account is concerned. You have to look for two people that will Stand as your reference is for any bank, especially the Senate bank, before they can open the USD account for you. And uh, to open the USD account, I didn't pay any 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 amount of, uh, of money before I can get the account opening. It is a free account, so all you have to do is to meet up the requirements by any bank uh, that you want to open your USD account. So in this regard, definitely I'm going to get my pay in USD from uh, Paystar. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope this video really helped you. Thank you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.